On our show today, we are privileged to have Mr. James Salinsa Diva, the national coach of the soccer team of Liberia, the Moon Star. Mr. Diva, good afternoon and welcome. Good to afternoon, show. good afternoon. Would you please introduce yourself to the public? Um, well, I'm James Salinsa Diva, head coach of the Liberian national team, the Lone Star. How did you ascend to the position of national coach? Uh, I went through the vetting process and uh, that's how I came on top. You know, I think perhaps it was based on my credentials, I would say. Yeah. As that how I held to this position. Okay. What are uh, is your team fully prepared to take off any challenge? Oh we are in a competition. Uh, the team has been doing extremely well. What is surprising is that in a relatively short period of time we have accumulated success, you know, that is unprecedented in the history of football in this country. I've been on the job for approximately a year and uh, thus far we are seeing some success. Yeah. I think I think it's good. I see, you know, I see a better future in Liberian football, provided we are, we 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 will get the, 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 the necessary support. Because in in order to to, to, to facilitate this, this program is cash intensive. So how how is the government? What is hmm. the government initiative in terms of? Providing logistics, uh, analysis, whatever that that is needed to make the players committed to the course. The Please. government has been responsive. Uh, I think, well, thus far we have accumulated close to a million dollars, but our state field is not adequate. We need more support. We need more support. Do you have other sponsors apart from the government? Our uh, second. Cellcom is our official sponsor. Okay. So, how could you rate your players' performance? Over the past 12 months, 95%. That's good. 95%. Many at times we see the enthusiasm of the public, the Liberian people, when they are crucial matches. But to our utmost surprise, the team will always dash our hopes. What do you have to say? You see, uh, these are different breed of players. I mean, different in sense of the uh, characteristics and uh, their talent. The best team on record, which was the George Weah 11 team, you cannot equate the success of the George 11 team to this present national team. There's a vast difference between the George Weah 11 team and the team of today. From what I said previously, this is a different generation of players. We have to work with what we have. Okay, you as a uh, Josh Weah 11 starting player, you made hit during your time. It was, if, 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 if it's not Josh Weah, it's James Allen Saturday. Yeah. You now being the national coach, what are some of those skills, some of those experiences you hope to bring to the show? Well, um, I've been trying to infuse in my player what I've accumulated over the years, being, being a professional football player. But it's hard. It's hard. It's hard because, first to start with, we have to work on the discipline issue, which is a major problem in the national team. It's a, it has been a, a big problem for us, for the coaches, for the technical staff. We have to work on that first. Once we get past that, then we can basically tackle the other issues. But that has been a major problem. Players are very much in discipline. Because based on what has been in the news, we see a lot of players boycotting camps. I mean, they are into so many indisciplined behaviors. Yeah. What are some of those measures? We see that, okay, maybe today you will put this player down for indiscipline, and the next game he comes back on top. They said that they are not 
any other player to substitute that person so that they stay down for a longer period of time? Well, to set well, some well, that has not been the case on my watch. Uh, I suspended one of our most prolific uh, old school, our Grandpa Do. You know, he was suspended for I think four months, four five months. I just recently recalled him. You know, he discipline attitude will not exist on my watch. It's a different, you know, there's a new life, no thing, new perspectives. And, uh, you know, we got a lot of work to do. You know, I won't sit here and condone indiscipline attitude. It will never happen on my watch. Are there other teams being built for the next? To yeah, one to thing, work? one thing, I think the president of the Liberia Football Federation, Mr. Musa uh, Hassan Belize, has done uh, is that he activated the various categories of national teams. Now we have the honor 13, honor 17, honor 20, honor 23, which is very good. And these uh, discipline have been coached by previous professional players, which is good. They come on board with experience, with expertise that is required. So this is very good. This is very, very good. Now we can go back to fundamental football. Is the Lone Star participating in the African competitions? Yeah. Yeah, we are presently on top of our zone. Uh, we play our last game on the third, on the third of uh, next month. We are playing against Tunisia in Tunis. It's a very crucial game. That will be the decider. We win Tunisia. If we win, we will uh, definitely qualify for the African. It's a crunch match, I would say. So, when do you see the Lone Star team qualifying for? Okay. I mean, I don't know. It's the possibility of that is far fetched. I can't tell you anything <laughs> for now. I'm concerned. My major concern now is to build a team. I have a three year mandate to build a team. And thus far, we have been successful, I would say. Because in the process, we have identified some prospects, you know, to identify some talents. Oscar Dolly, Willem Jebu, or Vendive Hammer, just to name a few. Okay. And uh, the, the program thus far is a success. What do you have to say about, about your critics out there? Those who want to succeed you, those who want to get you out of the way to step into your shoes right now. You know, I've been criticized all my life, even as a professional soccer player, so that, you know, I'm not moved. I'm not here to perpetualize this position. The position is open. Anybody who wants to come and make a difference, I mean, I won't be coached forever, so, yeah. <laughs> What do you see in the future for this team, for the Lone Star team of Liberia? I see prospects. I see prospects. Provided we can give the, the, the necessary support. Oh, As yeah. I said, and I always say, this program is capital intensive. Okay. Yeah, you have to have the resources, the time, the energy. You know, without, you know, without this, you know, things we can never be successful. How do you recruit those players? Because a lot of our players are not based here. How do they come yeah, together? Yeah, when I took over, what I decided to do is decentralize the program. It was only months around the country. Now uh, I'm trying, I have visited the 15 political subdivisions and recruit players for the national team, for the various categories of national team. So we have decentralized the program. So does the government of Liberia sponsor players who are in the diaspora play, come back to like you and play? Definitely, definitely. They definitely provide tickets, and give you star bands, as well as uh, compensation of the win. So it's good, it's good, it's good. They are operating on bigger budget, but what can we do? That's where we have to do. Okay. Could you please give your parting comments? Uh, Anything else you want to say out there to the public? Yeah. Even though, even though the last game expectations were high, people expected us to win against Togo. But football is what it is, you know. I'm not deterred. I know we, we will build a competitive team for the future. And this is this is my dream to pull up real back on a pedestal of international relevance in football. This is my dream, and I hope to accomplish that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.
you say. Okay, folks. Thanks a lot for staying tuned with us. It has been an interview with James Salisa Diva, the coach of the national soccer team of the Lone Stars of Liberia. I'm Cynthia Tonko.